Hello YouTube, it is Hectic Reacts bringing you a gameplay and last night I played my first subscriber game against Killer97Geo and he beat me and you know I kind of messed that game up real bad. <laughs> I had like a 24 to 8 lead and I kind of took my foot off the gas pedal and he showed his comeback skills and he ends up taking that lead and he ends up beating me. He had the Dolphins and I had the Cowboys. And he made the Dolphins look like the Green Bay Packers against me. Killer97Geo, you're a beast. And next time we play, it will be on YouTube. And just a quick side note to all my subscribers inviting me to games. And sometimes I can't join because sometimes I'm recording and editing. And sometimes when I don't join, that means I'm not recording the game. I won't be able to record the game. So I'm only going to join if I can record because I don't think that's fair to play you without recording a game. Because I'm pretty sure everybody wants to see their game on YouTube. And that's my promise, and I'm not going to be doing that, you know, I'm always going to be recording the game, so just a quick sign up to that. Alright, let's get into this gameplay. In this gameplay, I am the Chicago Bears, you see my opponent, I walked in the lobby, he was just on the 49ers, like, okay, so I'm like, that's cool. So we're about to get into it, I'm always using the Saints playbook, I kind of want to switch, but I don't know what playbook to switch to, like, I don't know what playbook is really better. I've used the Cowboys playbook so many times, you know, because that's my team, of course. But I might switch to the Texans playbook. I like it. It's pretty good. And the start of this game, this guy comes in the onside kick formation, which is very stupid. If you're not going to get this, he's going to give me perfect field position. And I'm just not a high success rate on the normal onside kick. If you want to do that, go surprise onside kick. It works better. And you see right there, it didn't even go 10 yards, so I'm in business. Um... When I play the Bears, I, I really like to get the run game going because their receivers are not good at all. I don't care what anybody says. The only good receiver on the team when I play Madden is Earl Bennett. And he plays third receiver. And I'm not going to switch him to second. Because for me, when I play, like, my slot receiver always comes, always becomes open more than any other receiver I play with. So I'm, I'm going to keep him there because he has great hands. And right here Devin Hester usually drops that pass like eight times out of ten he'll drop that pass but I guess he decided to catch it now because I was recording and I couldn't really get my run game going because you know the 49ers they have that epic run D and they're just gonna get better on this game because that win they had yesterday was incredible Vernon Davis catching the game winning touchdown then he started crying I was like dude well check this out I tried to strafe but my guy tackled him and that's like a pass interference so I'm like you gotta be kidding me you know, Alex Smith is okay on this game. He needs to be better because the throws he be missing are, like, impossible. Like, everybody should be able to make the throws he misses. And, you know, he's trying to get his pass game going. You know, dropping back, looking. And I pick him off at Brian Urlacher. He saw me staying there, and I don't know why he threw that. I'm getting that pick every time. You know, Brian Urlacher is a beast on this game. Give me a pick six, you know. And the 49ers... That's, like, basically the only team I really lose to. I'm not trying to sound cocky or anything, but, like, most of the time when I lose, it's because the 49ers are just destroying me. And right there, he could have, he, he stepped out of bounds. I think if he didn't click on so that quick to make a play, like, you know, just run. Give me that. That's a pick. <laughs> I had to say that. Um, that's a nice pick. Julius Peppers is a beast on this game. He catches all the picks. He gets mad sacks. He chases down with everybody. And right here, trying to get my run game going, Matt Forte. I'm getting hit sticked. It's kind of crazy. Third and eight, third and five, third and six, actually. Um, Bell, I don't know his first name, but he's really good out the backfield. He's a beast. And, you know, that's Earl Bennett fumbling, but picks it back up in the end zone. So that's a touchdown. I was so scared right there. I was like, come on, guys, come on. You know, the 49ers, if they had, like, some good receivers, they'd be so good. And, like, if Alex Smith could, like, become an accurate passer on this game, they would be so good. Their defense is already so good, and their running game is so good. But this guy, he decides to abandon the run. before He, he didn't even run the ball one time. So that's not how you play the 49ers. You got to run the ball and play good defense with them. And I get a nice sack with, who is that? I don't know. Third and 13, he's throwing. And I don't know how you missed that throw. I mean, Matt Moore makes that throw. And this dude's overthrowing it. But right here, 4-13, I get a nice sack. And then Adonis I pick it up. I'm running. Yeah, big man with football. You already know. Do a little candy drop dance. That's what I call it. I don't know why. It sounds so stupid. You know, that's a touchdown. 27-0. And this guy, like, 
he just couldn't take it anymore. I don't blame him because he was not going to win this game. And I'm sorry for the short gameplay. Last night, I tried to upload this epic gameplay, but it got the, it, the file, it didn't upload. So I was like, you got to be kidding me. So today, I, I got to put out a short one, guys. But my next gameplay will be a beast gameplay. I promise y'all. Thank you. Peace.